Hey family, what's good? Thanks for tapping back in with me. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, appreciate y'all and all the support. But yeah, let's get into it. Today, I just kind of want to share with you guys uh, three things that have really been beneficial to me as an adult. And I guess beneficial to me in, in as far as increasing my financial IQ and then in turn my finances. So yeah, I just want to share these things with you. And I'll jump right in. Number one, personal education and continue to educate yourself. This is by far has been the most beneficial thing to me by far. It has taught me to see different opportunities where before I was blind to them. It has taught me how to uh, better leverage my money and my capital. It has taught me to understand the system that we live in and understand it in a sense to position myself to to benefit from it um, versus just being subject to it rather, you know. Uh, so, yeah, like I think the the. The first single thing um, that I that I read or or, or collective piece of information, that's what I call it because it was a book uh, or concentrated piece of information that I consumed that, that I really felt was beneficial was probably uh, Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who have read it. It's a very popular book and it is a very impactful book or it can be if you're open minded enough i'll say it's really eye opening as far as how money and economics works it's really it gives a a, a great um comparison between you know I, I would say a mindset that most of us grew up with which would be kind of like in the book would be identifying as his poor dad uh versus uh probably the mindset of people that we aspire to be or, or 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 look at to be successful which would be like his rich dad and so uh yeah this is definitely not sponsored by him by any way <laughs> or anything like that but it was just beneficial to, and helpful to me and i just wanted to share it with you and you know uh from that it really gave me a better understanding of how money operates how to protect money how to the different ways of earning money, the different ways of positioning your money so that it can work for you versus you working for it. And yeah, just different things. Uh, real estate. Yeah, it covers a lot. And so, uh, I, I, you know, if you don't read all four of the books, I would definitely say Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Like that's the first book of the I think it's a four book series It is definitely like pretty pretty awesome as far as um the impact and the and the amount of knowledge it shares and, and and can give you as far as introspect and and yeah just life changing if you will um the other thing i would also tell you to do is invest you know investing is something that in recent years especially particularly last year 2020 has become extremely 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 accessible and easy to do and you know with you know your robin hoods your cash apps your acorns your you know your m1 finances your uh we like there's a ton of apps that you know just load right on your phone that allow you to you know start investing and getting interested in the, the stock market and things like that and in fact in the description of this video i'll leave a link to my robin hood where if you sign up you'll get a free stock and i will as well as well as the link to i think i got uh i got a link for weeble too i'll leave that down there uh for you guys that want to start investing and maybe don't have a brokerage account already but yeah that way you'll get a free stock i'll get a free stock win-win but yeah that's one thing that i would definitely um encourage all of us to take part in you know we we talk about these rich people and how rich they got during the pandemic you know your jeff bezos in the sexual well, if you own amazon stock you saw an increase in your funds too or if you own apple stock when their prices are going up you see increases in your funds too so i would just it, it, you know encourage you to be a part of the game don't sit on the sidelines um for too many years we sat on the sidelines when it comes to investing our money and growing our money you know the only thing we know how to do as far as getting money is to get a job and um there's so many more ways to to get money than to go out there and do it that way which is nothing wrong if that's how you do it but in addition to that i would you know strongly encourage you to begin investing increase your knowledge or your education about investing about stocks learn about companies uh you know there's a lot of great funds out there where you don't have to pick an individual stock it will track a collective of the stock or track the collective of the market and, and the market performance and that way it's a lot less risky for those that are you know scared or just uninformed and then of course there's a lot of great resources on the internet you know somebody that i listen to on youtube myself is dr boyce Watkins. uh i think he does a really good job of of discussing investing and 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 actually just growing black wealth and, and supporting the black family so yeah investing that's going to be number two number three would be to start a business or a side hustle additional income could be so helpful um even when you already uh 
have means that are sufficient for your for your needs but to have additional cash flow could be so beneficial because the thing about that is like yeah maybe you have enough money to take care of all your needs but you could be investing and growing that money you could be saving for an opportunity to put that money into something that is going to grow it to something you know to multiply the money investing in businesses to get additional cash flow uh is probably one of the best ways to make additional money because you don't and a lot of times uh with business just depending on what your product or service is you are able to compensate yourself better and a lot of times your full-time employer will you know able to have more more profit and again like i said with the tax thing you're able to kind of legally manipulate those to your advantage in those situations so i would definitely definitely advise you start a business start a side hustle or if you already uh a business owner I, I would uh, ask you to try to bring additional value to your customers what you know how can you bring additional value to your customers um, to increase your profits or to increase your average transaction amount or whatever the case may be however you track your progress just to increase your income whatever that might look like for your business model or if you're not in one you know find something that that you don't mind doing that you maybe even enjoy doing that you could do whether it's a service or whether it's creating something and present to people you know your job has done a great job of leveraging your skills and ability. Uh, it would be great if you knew how to leverage the very skills that you have. If you could market your own skills in a way, you know, and 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 to provide for yourself off of, off of your ability to do such. Even if it's not your uh, primary source of income, just to bring additional income. Who doesn't like more money? Uh, and to be able to earn it in a way where you are the one that is totally in control, I think is really cool. So that's it guys for the most part i know it's a shorter video but just three things to increase your value in net worth number one is education learn 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 you know we talk about money a lot but how much do we really know about money besides going to work and spending it you know learn about the system of the economy the system that we we live in learn about assets learn about liabilities learn about taxes learn about all of these different things and how they impact your money you cannot build wealth if you do not know what how money operates and you know uh and money doesn't like to be idle so saving and hoarding big tons of money in a savings account can be very detrimental as well because you have inflation and money loses you know about two percent every year in value because of inflation so that means if you have a hundred dollars in a savings account this year by 2022 it's only going to have the spending power of about 98 dollars because prices continue to increase so just think about that uh you want to have your money in something that increases in value with time that's going to give you a hedge that's why real estate is so good because you know why because the market goes up so the so the value of your asset if you bought it yesterday at 150 dollars and 10 years from now you know it increases by 10 percent. that's fifteen thousand dollars now it's worth 165 thousand uh, dollars and so you want things that are going to increase with value that are going to rise uh with inflation or, or above the rate of inflation really uh so yeah savings accounts aren't good i really don't recommend them you want to find a way to put your money in something that's going to grow uh that's going to outpace inflation that's going to make you money then number two is investing so that kind of piggybacks on number one um after you educate yourself you're going to want to find uh good secure investments or places to put your money like i said there's many funds out there that track like the s p 500 and uh the nasdaq and so many other things and like i was saying before with Robinhood, cash app and so many other applications um that you can get on your phone you're able to to enter the market with as little as a dollar like with fractional shares you don't need to buy an entire share i don't care if it costs three hundred thousand dollars you can buy a piece of the pie for one dollar with any company that they allow you to trade with on their particular platforms so i would you know advise you to get started a lot of wealth is made in the stock market don't sit on the sidelines and then number three your side business or side hustle find a way to to generate additional income uh into your or bring additional income into your household this could be used to further investing could be used for other opportunities it doesn't have to be a situation where you feel that your current primary job is in inadequate no you can make enough money currently and still need a side hustle because you need to be doing things with that money to to buy you freedom you know if, if it's retiring early if it's uh investing in something if it's whatever the case may be but yeah with number three starting your side hustle it, it doesn't have to be about uh needing the money because whether you realize it or not you need it even if your household uh quote unquote needs are being satisfied by the primary job you need additional income because as a uh, person of color a black person particularly um you need to be able to invest and, and and grow money at a rate like no other uh people in america because you have been held back for so long 
So yes, I don't care how much money you make. You need additional income. You need multiple sources of income. You can read that and, and see that anywhere amongst any millionaire, billionaires even. They have multiple streams of income. One will not do, you know, you lose your job, then what? Whatever happens, you know, you want to be able to have multiple sources of income. People talk about being diversified as far as investments and things like that. You need to be in, diversified with your income as well. Be able to generate money in multiple areas. Be able to generate money from multiple different streams. It is it, it is critical. You know, if you've ever seen anybody that's been fired and they have nothing to fall back on uh, or, or anybody that's been let go or even through this pandemic, so many people have been let go. You know, if you have a side hustle, something that can get you by, something that you can transition to uh, should things happen or, or that could at least get you by in the meantime until you can find another uh, permanent position. So, yeah, those are the three things I want to leave you with. Like I said before, be sure to like, subscribe and share. I thank y'all for tapping in with me. Uh, also, once again, in the description of this video below, I'll have the link to my Robinhood and my Weeble. Uh, and any of the other investing apps that I use that have links that you could, uh, so we both can get free stock. But thanks for tapping in, guys. Y'all be good. Appreciate y'all. Peace.